Hi, I'm Heather Vandermod and this is Kirsten Farr and we are showcasing hot spots on the Outer Banks. And today we are at a waterfront restaurant in Duck. Tell them about it. This is the Paper Canoe. Come on and join us. Today we're here with John Mark and his brother Sebastian the owners of the Paper Canoe. So Jean-Marc, what does it feel like to be the youngest chef owner of any restaurant on the Outer Banks? Well, me and my brother Sebastian were kind of born into it. Uh, my grandfather had a restaurant named the Shauna Claire in Nantucket. Uh, then my parents had a restaurant here on the beach for a while named the Pearl. And we started really young. I was seven and he was five years younger, so he was only two or three, but it just, uh, I guess it feels very natural. I don't really think about it too much. I focus on just being here and making good food and that's kind of all I really think about. The restaurant's been open since 2011 and I think you bought it in January, 2022. How was this first summer season? Yeah, you know, it, it went really, really well, probably better than I expected. Uh, it was really busy, you know, for the most part, we got reservations out about a month and then sometimes even further than that, it's just better than expected. So tell us about your menu. What's the atmosphere like, the restaurant fair? When my dad was a chef here years ago, it kind of took a French twist for sure. And it kind of still has essence of that but it's it's a lot of seafood fish is a big staple I, I love to fish and i love to eat fish so fish is something very important and then we just we try to change it up with new ideas here and there kind of have a solid base of a menu and we kind of slowly update it as time goes on food is definitely why people go out to dinner and they got dinner to eat but i think it's always nice to go somewhere where you have a really cool view but if you're from somewhere that doesn't have access to the water it, it's it's a really really nice view we are planning to dine here tonight and uh curious what you recommend that we have yeah, uh, some staples are probably the most popular thing well known, well known for is the shrimp and grits, which is kind of a really popular thing in this area anyway, but ours, I, I, I think, not that I'm biased, but I think they're probably the best. Uh, shrimp and grits are always good. And then the scallops are another one that's always kind of a winner. They're just, we use U10s, so that means they're really, really nice big diver scallops. Uh, and then the fish, like I said, uh, the fish is something we, we try really hard to do a good job with. We make everything pretty much awesome. except bread. We make the ice cream, we make all the sauces, we make all the stocks, we do pretty much everything. Sebastian, pastry chef, yeah. what should uh -huh. I order for dessert? So for dessert, my favorite is key lime. Uh, a close second is definitely the cinnamon vanilla bean ice cream. We get a couple little macaroons. Uh, we also do creme brulee sometimes. Maybe today we're doing a special as an apple, apple tort. Uh, we also have like a flower, this chocolate flower, which is always good. Are you guys hosting any sort of on-site events or rehearsal dinners, off-site events, any catering team party? Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, you know, it's not something this, the paper canoe has ever done in the past. Uh, it's something definitely I would probably like to get into a little bit. My main goal is always kind of the regular dinner service for the regular people that come here. I don't want to disturb that. But in the fall and even in the spring, it would probably be a great opportunity to, to do smaller on-site parties. Rehearsal dinners would probably be something we'd be interested in. Great job, guys. So excited for you, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. There are a lot of great restaurants on the Outer Banks, but none owned by a 24-year-old chef. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for these boys. I can't either. And if you're looking for a dining experience with breathtaking water views, the Paper Canoe is a spot you don't want to miss. The Paper Canoe features an ever-changing chalkboard of daily selections from handmade pasta, locally caught seafood, and rustic wood oven specialties. The carefully considered presentation is just as important as the quality of the curated dish itself. It's the chef's goal to create art with each item served. Thank you for joining us today. We are going inside to enjoy a wonderful culinary experience created by guys with an amazing opportunity to carry on the family tradition. I'm so excited. It's time to eat.